Doogie. You didn't hear me talking to you? My sugar's crazy high. 650. That doesn't make sense. I gave you the proper dosage of insulin. 10 units. 10 units? 10 units doesn't even make a dent with me. You got a doctor around here who knows what he's doing? I'm Dr. Sean Murphy. I'll give you another 10 units. Waste of time. Make it 20. I'll give you 10. What's wrong with you? You sound like an idiot. Don't be a jerk. Mind your own business. Doc. Doc, I don't feel so... Ah! What the hell? Did he just infect me? Possibly. I need to examine your abdomen. Your obstruction has returned. You need surgery now. I'll be stuck in here. There's no operating room. We will have to improvise. <laughs> No Neptune machine. Without suction, the surgical field will be filled with blood. We can use the wall suction set to continuous. That'll do. No electrocautery to control the bleeding. You'll have to do this combat style. <coughs> Tie off each artery before you cut. Resnick, are you ready? Because I think we are. I'll go get the patient. <coughs> you should lie down. Scalpel. If we expand the quarantine, I can do the transplant. The only technical breach will be. She's infected. Melinda's. Yeah. Take down the adhesions on the sigmoid. How are his vitals? Holding steady, doctor. That's dead bowel. It's perforated. Patringa needs help. If I don't secure these clamps, there'll be stool everywhere. Murphy, go. Given you're only 36 weeks gestationally and there's no sign of infection, the baby should be able to stay in utero for at least 24 hours. If the quarantine is done before... You're not gonna fall apart again, are you? I don't think so, Viola. The buzzing is gone and there is much less yelling, except you. 
It was the buzzing and the yelling. Not the fact that we're trapped with three people who have died from a highly infectious disease. <laughs> That's not something to worry about. I either have the virus or I don't. And based on past national quarantine mortality rates, we have a very good statistical chance of surviving. But I didn't know that I would fall apart the first time, so I may be wrong. Here you go. You always talk like that. Like what? And just say whatever you're thinking when you're thinking it. Yes, it's good to be honest. Wish my dad was like that. Dr. Park is very honest. He always shares his opinions. Opinions and then there's feelings. Your dad doesn't tell you that he loves you? What? Well, he's just not really there for us. He did just risk his life and his career to break into a quarantine to help you. It's true. But most kids want their dad there, even when it's not life and death. Sorry for your loss. Status. Oh, she's at is 92. Respiratory rate is down to 16. Your lungs sound clear. Keep pulmonary edema to a minimum with conservative fluid management. Use furosemide so my CVPs are under eight. Absolutely. I love this place. I always said I'd be doing this till the day I died. Ta -da. We started your treatment early. You'll be back to repairing late night drunken head injuries in no time. I forgot to call my mom on her birthday. I forgot to do a lot of stuff. Tyler was sweet. He was a good guy. Best to put him out of sight. It's not a healthy reminder for either of us. Fetal heart rate is still between 130 and 140 BPM. Contractions 17 minutes apart. What's happening? Is it my baby? Viola's BP is 180 over 100. She may have preeclampsia and an oncoming seizure. We need to induce labor. No, he's not being born in here. We are waiting for quarantine to end. Your placenta isn't getting enough blood flow. Yes, we need to get him out. This is going to be your first baby and mine. Start bronchodilators. Dr. Lim, can you hear me? O2 stats are still dropping. Push paralytics. Starting innovation. 